Hello, YouTube family. Hi to everybody out there on YouTube. It's Michaela Valera, also known as the Renaissance Amazon. And I um, am, I do a lot of things. I am a body scientist. I am a sacred sexual educator, a dancer, a critical thinker, a writer, a creator. Um, <clears throat> But um, I'm also going to go live on my Instagram page. If you don't follow me on Instagram, make sure to follow me at the underscore renaissance underscore Amazon underscore 81. Okay. So let me go live on my IG. Hi, people. <coughs> Hello to everyone out there on Instagram. So I'm on IG and I am on YouTube. So to my IG fam, if you don't follow me on YouTube, follow me at the Renaissance Amazon. Be sure to do that, okay? So I hope you're all doing well today. Um, I always have so much in my mind and I always think so critically about topics and those of you who follow me know this. Um, and so one thing that's been on my mind a lot well, what we're going to talk about today, okay, is uh, relationships and opposite sex friends, right? So I hear a lot of people debating about whether or not, if you're in a relationship, whether or not it's okay to have opposite sex friends, if somebody is okay with that, if you're, you know, you would be okay with that. And there's so many things with relationships. <clears throat> I'm an, I am an observer and I am a critical thinker, right? And one thing that I have observed a lot is that a lot of couples that you see who might have been together for whatever period of time that you thought they were so wonderful together, you thought they were so in love, you thought they were unbreakable, and then what happens? <clears throat> what happens? They end up breaking up one day. And you start finding out about all these serious problems that they had that you didn't know about, that they hid, right? Because a lot of people say that you're not supposed to supposed to keep everything private. So a lot of people are acting. A lot of people are acting like they're happy and they're not. A lot of people are putting up a lot of bullshit in relationships, right? And that's why when people judge people who are single for long periods of time and they act like something's wrong with them because, oh, you've been single for this many years. But then you have people who've been in a relationship for five years, 10 years, and they have this nasty breakup because the person that they've been with all this time was not who they thought. You get people who get killed by their spouse. That may be the number one killer of women in the world, but it's a very high number, especially in certain countries, it is the number one killer of women, them getting killed by their husband. There are men that get killed by their wives. That's creepy, okay? So maybe there's people who are single for years. <laughs> I know this is true for myself. It's like maybe we're not willing to put up with the bullshit. So people always say relationships are work. I'm like, what does that mean, though? You know what I'm saying? What does that mean? Because sometimes that may be valid, but sometimes people are putting up with bullshit in the name of work, right? And then... You invest so much into this relationship for years only to find out this person was on some bullshit. One thing I realized about relationships, a lot of people are playing games, you know, from the very beginning. They try to get what they want. The women are playing manipulative games and the women and the men are playing manipulative games. So when you have people doing that shit, what you're getting is not genuine. It's not real and it's not the truth. Sorry. So people do that, right? People do that, and then they say they want the truth. I want the truth. I want someone to be faithful. To me, faithful is being real. That's what that means to me. Faithful to me doesn't mean that I own your body, that I own your mind. It means that you're being real, okay? So being real, I'm having my back. So the thing is, is that I know for me, I, most of my best friends are guys. The people that I speak to every day are guys, right? I have no less than four male best friends, no less, right? Who I've known for eight plus years. Some of them I've known for 14 years, 
10 years, eight years at the least, okay? No, and I have another really good friend here in Chicago who I've known him for like, what is, maybe three years, okay? So, um, if I get with a dude, so my friends that I've been friends with, like my male friends who've been my friends, one of my really best friends, we've been friends for like 15 years. He's known me through whatever relationships I've been through since 2004, right? He knows the bullshit. He knows my life. He knows me. He has seen, I've had in the, in the past 15 years, what is this, 2019? Yeah. In the past 15 years, men have come and gone, come and gone due to I might have been in love with, this is the one, whatever, they've come and gone. But my best friend, he's still my friend. He's still my friend. And right now, not to put his business out on the street, but I have more than one male best friend. But it's like he was married. I knew him before he was married. He was married. Well, he is married now. Now he's getting a divorce. Me and him are still friends, right? Now, because he's my best friend, I would never do anything to disrespect his relationship. I know that when I text him, I'm not texting him too late at night. I'm not texting him anything too crazy because his wife might see his phone. And I want her to think nothing. And me and him are friends. I, don't, I never wanted to ever cause problems in his marriage. Nothing like that, right? But he's he's like my counselor. He's somebody that helps to keep me sane. Me and him have a very special relationship. But I'm not trying to be, um, I'm not trying to, uh, you know, like, I'm not, I would never try to take him from his wife or do no shit like that. I'm not even, I don't even have that mindset. But we are really friends. And so there are rough times that I've gone through in the past 15 years where I've had some of my male best friends. And I say four, but there's even more than that. Like I have a lot of really good friends who are guys. I honestly wish I had more female friends. The only real close female friend that I have right now is probably my girl. You know what I'm saying? Um, she's the only one that I would even like talk to like that. Ugh. All my female friends, I used to think it was something wrong with girls who would say like, well, I don't get along with women. Um, I don't have the female friends. I always thought something was wrong with those women, but now that's my life. I used to have a lot of females who I thought were my friends. And I love women. I love women. Like, I think this all the time. Not only from a sexual attraction standpoint, but I just love women. I've always been pro-woman. I love dudes. Like I said, a lot of male best friends. I got a twin brother. I'm close to my dad. But I love women. I'm team woman, pro woman all motherfucking day. I love women who boss up. I love women who are independent thinkers, independent minded, strong, stands in their sexuality, right? But um, I, if I had to have something right now where I had to invite five female friends, I couldn't do it. Are there any women? I, there's no woman that I speak to about my life like that on a regular basis except one, and that's my girl, and that's it. Right, uh, but I have female best friends who I consider best friends. Two in particular, who um, I don't speak to them like that, you know. But whatever. Anyhow, regardless, it's all excess. Excess. My whole point is, when people have these rules about, oh, we're in a relationship, and so they don't want their husband to have female friends, or they don't want their wife to have male friends. I know that I have male friends that have been there for me through some, some of the roughest times in my life. And to me, I treat people how people, I treat people how they treat me. If you were there for me during a really rough time, like I'm a grateful person, I remember that shit, uh, I don't forget that shit, and you will always be my friend. I don't give a fuck what do comes into my life. My male friends who are my friends will be my friends regardless, because you know what I've observed in this life of mine? Is that relationships have come and gone, but my friends are still there, right? And so me and myself, I would never stop. If I were to do, I would never stop him. If he had a female best friend, and I've had this before in relationships, where um, he had a female best friend, they might've been friends for like the past 20 years. They might've been childhood friends, right? I'm not gonna then come into the relationship, like now me and him meet me together. I'm not gonna tell him, oh, you can't be her friend no more. What the fuck? Like sometimes you gotta know your place in hierarchy. It's like, no hierarchy. Like it's like, like, I'm not going to tell you to stop, like, someone who's a genuine friend to you, I'm not going to tell you to just that person can't be your friend. Now, me as a woman, if I felt like that woman was a threat, if I really felt like that, if I really felt like, oh, he loves her, he's going to leave me for her, then 
you'll need to be with that person if you really feel like that. You know what I'm saying? I don't live in that kind of fear. If you feel like there's something suspect about their relationship, then don't be in a relationship with him. Find out what the fuck to think. But I'm, what I'm not going to do is tell him, oh, you can't have a female friend because she's a woman. Because ain't nobody telling me that shit. You know, the dudes who are my best friends, they're going to be my best friends. Because I could get with a dude tomorrow who seems like he's the greatest. And then the dude is a psychopath, right? But And I might need my male friends because I'm in another city. I'm in D.C. I've got a lot of friends in D.C. I might be in D.C. Or wherever, you know what I'm saying? And this dude is nuts. I'm calling it a friend. So I'm not going to ever cut off all my friends from the dude that I'm in a relationship with. Like, no. And the more that I just observe people, people that I know, people that I don't know, and relationships and how much people break up and how much people think they're going to be together forever and they're not. Because so many people are playing games, manipulative games, right? And I'm just not about that shit. I'm not about that life. I'm not about manipulating. Like, anybody going to manipulate me? Not going to happen. And But I'm also not trying to manipulate anybody. So that's why it's like my, my tolerance, like, I'll cut somebody off quick. Quick. The bullshit, not, not next. I would rather be single and be like, okay, I'm done with you. You serve your purpose. On to the next, right? Then to be sitting here dealing with some bullshit. Like, I'm just not about that life. And there's people who invest so much into some bullshit when they should have been cut that shit off, but yet they think, oh, we've been together for three years or five years or 10 years or whatever amount of time it is. So you might as well just stick it out. But really, you need to stop that shit before you waste another three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 years of your life on some bullshit. Who wants to feel like they wasted time, you know? And, and, and it is a such thing as wasting time. So what I'm trying to say is that regardless of all the jealousy, the insecurities that come with, you know, not so-called not allowing your partner to have a friend of the opposite sex, I think is really ridiculous. I think it's coming from an insecure place. And I feel like if you're in a relationship with somebody who is, you know, has a best friend of the opposite sex, and if you honestly feel like there's a difference between your overreacting jealous mind, which a lot of times if you have an overreactive jealous mind and this person hasn't done anything to make you think that they're doing anything or hasn't done anything to make you think that they don't love you, but you're just making up, you're just super paranoid, that's probably because you either have serious insecurities or you yourself, you yourself is about the bullshit. A lot of times people who themselves who be on that bullshit, who be manipulating and cheating and sneaking, they, they, they uh, impose that onto their partner. So check yourself, right? Right now, if you notice things that suspect that they're doing with their best friend, that's the opposite sex, that's out of the norm, or seems romantic, or giving that person more attention than they're giving you, or something reasonable in that way, then at that time it's time for you to evaluate if that's something that you feel like you want to move forward with. But trying to tell that person that oh no, you can't be friends—that's some bullshit. Because people have been through shit together. People that have been through shit together, if, if somebody had cancer and somebody was there for them during that time, you know, I was in a relationship with a dude one time, he was a retard at this point, you know, whatever. There was a woman that he had been friends with for like 18 years and she had, he was with her through breast cancer, right? I would never come and say, oh, you two can't be friends. He's with her through some times like that. No, like if me and you don't last, we don't last, but I'm not gonna tell you that. So that's just how I am. Like I'm not on some manipulation shit. They're trying to make somebody suppress themselves. They're trying to own them. And I don't want anybody trying to do that shit to me. That's just not going to happen. I got a cat spirit. You know what I'm saying? Um, there's so much to learn from the opposite sex. Let me see if I apply this to your guys' comments. There's so much to... Um, I'm now reading your comments. Let me see. Thank you. Thank you for all the compliments, people. Um, there is so much to learn from the opposite sex uh, as well. But I'm going to stop my little uh, tipsy rant and go get myself together to go to the gym. So if you have learned anything from this video, any new perspectives, please um, share your comments below on my YouTube video. Please share this video amongst your people. Please uh, check out my other videos on my YouTube page. Make sure you follow me on YouTube at the Renaissance Amazon. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. 
at the underscore renaissance underscore amazon underscore 81 because what i post in both places is not always the same and um i hope you guys have a good day bye